Okay, so I decided this is the shorter of the two next things I want to do for you. This is a book review for Cold Heart Warm Cowboy, Caitlin Cruz. And it's the first time in print. So I take it it must have been on the internet at some time. But I thought I would read the back to you and then um, read a little bit of the tidbit that I picked. And um, I always like the questions you guys come up with. Uh, when I was told one of my friends that I was reading this book by Instagram, I told everybody yesterday, one of my friends said, could you ever see yourself in that position? Be the one to say, go to and be the one to, to keep after that man until he would either pay up for the child support or get the divorce. And what if he did have the amnesia? You know, it, you can never really say what you will do until you are in that situation. I'm a firm believer in that. But in this scenario, um, she's got guts. And you have to have guts to be a rodeo queen and hide the relationship that you're in from everyone. And then all of a sudden you're married, let alone you're expecting the kid and you're having the kid on your own because you couldn't, when you told the father that he was going to be a father, he couldn't handle it basically. So he acts up again towards the end of the book and tells her when he's starting to, he, he's not putting things together yet. He's still out there in La La Land with the amnesia because the bull stomped him. He's a bull rider. And... Uh, she, the mom comes with the kid to the house where uh, his family's at and he sees the kid and he's holding the kid and then he's like take the kid take yourself go back to Georgia and forget all about me well some time passes he doesn't make any move to, to run after her and that part bothers me because you know I would hope that you know, in that scenario, he would see that even though, yes, his dad was not perfect and he thinks he's a co complete copycat of his father, he's not. Everyone is their own person. They have their own life to live. And that part, I was just like, I, I, if he wouldn't come after you, then why are you going back to him? But the, one of the brothers goes to her and it's the same brother that doubted why she was there in the first place. And, um, because she didn't tell anyone about the kid until like her, the mom shows up with the baby on the doorstep. And it's like, well, hello, you know. Now they know why she wasn't there, why he was in the hospital recovering from his amnesia. And it's still not a good excuse by any means because they both didn't act like a mature adult. So let me read the back to you, the paper clip. I might even read a little bit of when his memory starts coming back. Nah. I'll let you read it. But anyway, let's read the paper clip. Page 315. This is the part that I like. Um, he thinks that he's a copycat of his father. And he's listing off why they can't be a family and why he can't be a husband, basically. And he says, I can't take the risk. She responds, life is a risk, Ty. Love is risk. Everything that's worth anything in this life is risk. If it doesn't hurt, it doesn't matter. If it doesn't make you feel something, why would you bother doing it in the first place? And I think that's the best part of this book is when she's trying to get through to him to make him see you can't just give up and throw in the towel because you weren't dealt a hand that had all aces. And, you know, I think that he, that I respect that a lot in this book. And like I said, things come back when he's on the bowl for eight seconds at the end of the book, which is ironic because the bull stomping him was how he forgot all about what happened and why she left. But then it all comes back. Now the question is, did they wind up together or did they not? The only way to find out is read the book. I don't remember if I read the back to you, so I'm going to do that now. If I did it twice, I'm sorry. Please understand, my day has been hectic. Ty Everett ran off to the rodeo when he turned 18 and has been riding bulls ever since until his last fall causes partial amnesia, and he must return to Cold River Ranch to figure out what comes next. But how can he pick 
his next move when he can't remember how he got here in the first place, much less the beautiful woman who appears at the ranch, claims she knows him, and warms his cold heart for the first time since he woke up in the hospital. Rodeo queen Hannah Monroe gave up her crown for Ty Everett and her innocence. What she wants from Ty now is a divorce. But Ty can't even remember her, or their secret wedding, or even their son. She wants, she never meant to hide from him, and Hannah is torn. How can she leave the man she can't forget and still loves despite herself? And even if she's willing to start over, what will happen when the truth comes out? It is a very compelling book. Like I said, it is very unusual for me to read a book where the woman has to put the screws to him basically and say, cowboy up. But I have got to tell you, this book gets a rating of an eight. That's pretty good. It's not stellar, but it's still pretty good. So there you go. Next up is Magazine Tidbit. <laughs>